Right, race 12. Um, I'll be with you for the last two races from Cheltenham and be with you at the Hunt Chasers tomorrow. It's the year of the National Hunt Chase, the four mile event, Nord 120 Handicap Chase. One is Artisan Sundown, Davy Robertson. Two, Flynn's Bullet, Martin Leedham. Three is Woodland Venture, Dave Hoody. Four, Rollover Beethoven, Patrick Hogan. Five is Teal Storm, Graham Clatterbuck. Six, Grand Torino, Paul Rhodes. Seven is Irish Tony, Craig Beckwith. And nine, Ale Ole Ole. Uh, Patrick Hogan. So eight horses. Now where they go in this uh, marathon event. And Gran Torino uh, for Paul Rhodes has quickly picked it up in those blue colours. But on the outside of that uh, he's joined by Teal Storm. In between the two of them is Flynn's Bullet. That's Martin Needham's horse. And it's Flynn's Bullet who now takes it up from Teal Storm and Gran Torino to jump the first. All of it are safely. Irish Tony's back in fourth. On the rail there is Dave Hoody's Woodland Venture. In between the two of them, Artisan Sundown for Davy Robertson. And the two Patrick Hogan horses at the back of the field. Roll over Beethoven and Ale Ole Ole. And there's about six lengths first to last as Flynn Bullet takes him along for Martin Leadham. Two lengths clear of Irish Tony in second. Teal Storm is on that one's inside. On the rail we have a Grand Torino as a jumper next. A good jump by the leader. Uh, Flynn's Bullet who extends his advantage and has gone about three lengths clear now of Irish Tony in second. Grand Torino is on the inside of Irish Tony. Uh, on the outside of Grand Torino is Woodland Venture for Dave Hooley in those lilac colours. Uh, out wide, the two Patrick Hogan horses, Roll Over Beethoven, and even wider than Roll Over Beethoven is Ale Ole Ole. On the inside of those two is Teal Storm for Graham Clutterbuck. The yellow cap with, with the uh, turquoise and pink stripes, that's uh, Davy Robertson's Artisan Sundown, who's at the back of the field, about eight lengths off the sleeve of Flynn's Bullet for Martin Eden. So they've jumped four fences, they jump and they all go over it safely as Flynn's Bullet still leads from Gran Torino in second, Irish Tony on that one's outside, then the two Padre Gorka Bogan horses who are both travelling wide, uh, Ella Ole Ole and Roll Over Beethoven, three in line at the back of the field, Woodland Venture on the inside of uh, Artisan Sundown and Teal Storm is on the outside of the three back markers as Flynn's bullet is, keeps extending his advantage now and he's gone about five lengths clear um, it's got an easy lead Flynn's bullet for Martin Eden oh, Grand Torino for Paul Rhodes in second it's Craig Beckwith's Irish Tony uh, behind that then the yellow colours with the black cap that's Patrick Hogan horses uh, Ella Ole Ole and Roll Over Beethoven Woodland Venture made a mistake at the last fence and has dropped about a length off the back of the field but Flynn's Bullet keeps extended in front. It's got an easy lead and it's opened up by about six or seven lengths here from Grand Arena in second. Still a long way to go. Uh, Roll Over Beethoven is just about in third from Artisan Sundown on his inside. Irish Tony back in uh, fourth position. They're followed by Teal Storm for Graham Clutterbuck as they jump the next. All over it okay. Wooden Venture near the back of the field and the back of the field we have Ale Ole Ole for Patrick Hogan. So Flynn's Bullet, a comfortable advantage of about six lengths from Gran Torino in second. Hardison Sundown has moved closer, well improved positions I should say, not moved closer. So he has poked his nose into third with Irish Tony and that one's inside as they jump the next. Uh, slow jump though by Hardison Sundown, another slow jump by Woodland Venture. A couple of mistakes by Woodland Venture and he's dropped to the back of the field now with uh, just ahead of him Ale Ole Ole and Teal Storm. As Flynn's Bullet in those red colours and the yellow cap for Martin Eden jumps the next. And that's the water jump and they're all over it okay except for a slow jump by Teal Storm at the back of the field. It's Flynn's Bullet. He's starting to spread the field out. Uh, Grand Torino is about three lengths off this leader. And a further two lengths back to Irish Tony in third. But a length back to Roll Over Beethoven is on the outside of Artisan Sundown for David Robertson. The second Padre Gorgon horse, Ale Ole Ole, is just behind that. Then we have Dave Hoody's Woodland Venture, who has made a few slow jumps. And Teal Storm is now with inside for Graham Clatterbuck. So Flynn's Bullet, still a comfortable advantage. They're almost approaching halfway now. Uh, leading from Grand Torino in second for Paul Rhodes, within the outside Grand Torino, Irish Tony. They're followed by Artisan Sundown for Davy Robertson, with the first of the Padre Gogan horses, Roll Over Beethoven, that one's outside, then Ale Ole Ole. Another mistake by Teal Storm at the back of the field, and Woodland Venture just ahead of Teal Storm. It's about 10 lengths first to loss as they approach the home stretch for the penultimate time. They're making a long swing for home now as Flynn's Bullet. He's still got his useful advantage. Four lengths clear of Gran Torino in second for Paul Roach. Irish Tony is on that one's quarters and then on the rail. 
are caught in a pocket at the moment, Artists and Sundown, followed by the two Padre Gogan horses, roll over Beethoven, Ale Ole Ole, and I went back to Woodland Major. A mistake of the leader, Flynn's bullet brings him right back to the field. He only has about a length advantage now. So Flynn's bullet still a length clear of um, Grand Arena in second. The back are much closer now after that mistake uh, by Flynn's bullet. Irish Tony moving up on the outside of Grand Arena. Then the two Padre Gogan horses creeping closer, roll over Baden and Ale Ole Ole. Artists and Sundown switching off the fence to try to get a um, better sight of the fences. He's been caught behind some horses for a while. Then Woodland Venture and Tealstorm at the back of the field. But that's a packing field. Only six in his first to last. As it's Flynn's bullet who leads from Irish Tony in second. It's a jump next. A good jump by the leader. Good Flynn's bullet clear from Irish Tony in second, roll over Beethoven on that one's outside, as they jump the next fence, on the inside of that is Gran Torino, then comes Otters and Sundown and Ale Ole together, uh, two lengths back to Woodland Venture, and Teal Storm at the back of the field as they head off on their final circuit, with Flynn's bullet clear of about three lengths from Otters and Sundown in second, um, on the outside of that is Irish Tony, then comes uh, Roll Over Boat Heaven. Oz and Sundown back behind these, and he's caught behind some horses again. And so on the struggle a bit now, Ale 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 has dropped to the back of the field with Woodland Venture and uh, Teal Storm. Flynn's Bullet still going comfortably in front for uh, Martin Leadham. The red colours and the yellow cap. He's about three lengths clear of Oz and Sundown, who's um, of Grand Arena, who's been second most of the way. Irish Tony's always been up in the vanguard. Then comes uh, Oz and Sundown on the inside, who made a slow jump there with Ale Ale just ahead of that. Uh, two lengths back to um, Ale Ale as well over Beethoven actually just ahead of Artisan Sun. Down near the back of the field, Stall Teal Storm and Woodland Venture. So Flynn's bullet jumps to the water jump. They're all over it okay except for roll over Beethoven who was a bit ponderous over that jump and Flynn's bullet two lengths clear of Irish Tony in second. Odds and Sundown now in the clear has moved past to Grand Torino. Uh, roll over Beethoven is trying to get closer as a jump and next. Ale Ole Ole makes another mistake. Teal Storm is moving closer to Ale Ole Ole and Woodland Venture at the back of the field but he's only about eight lengths first to last as Flynn's bullet has company in roll over Beethoven. Irish Tony just behind that then comes Odds and Sundown for Davy Robertson travelling strongly. Grand Torino has lost a few places back in fifth for Paul Rhodes. Then comes a uh, Teal Storm. Ale Ole Ole off the slow jump has uh, dropped his second loss and Woodland Venture hasn't jumped the best and is at the back of the field for Dave Hooley. So Flynn's bullet for Martin Leadham. Still the leader but has company in both Irish Tony and Roll Over Boto have moved closer and right behind them is Grand Torino and Oz and Sundown. There's only two lengths between the first and the first five horses. They're followed by Teal Storm, Woodland Venture and Ale Ole Ole. They're also trying to move closer. Teal Storm switching out for a run. They've got five furnace left to travel and still Flynn's bullet is holding them at bay with Roll Over Beethoven and Oz and Sundown travelling strongly just behind them. Teal Storm making a move out wide. Wooden Venture trying to get closer with Ale Ole Ole. There's only three lengths first to last now as still as Flynn's bullet is leading. He's repelling all challenges at the moment. Martin Eden's Flynn's bullet and Flynn's bullet starts to extend again. It's Flynn's bullet. He's been in the front the whole way. Teal Storm in second. He's got all of them on the go and um, all the jockeys working behind him. Oz and Sundown in third. He's still travelling okay. Woodland Ventures moved up into fourth. Then comes Patrick Hogan's uh, Ale Ole Ole. Grand Torino's going backwards. Then comes uh, a roll of a bait of an Irish tone. He's dropped out of it. It's Flynn's bullet in front with two and a half furlongs left to go. And still travelling strongly, you got to say. Martin Leadham's Flynn's bullet is led whole way. And he's in game in front and he's repelling all challenges. It's Flynn's bullet. Teal Storm in second. Woodland Venture back in third. They're not making much impression on this leader. Flynn's bullet still going strong. He jumps the next well and Flynn's bullet is starting to extend again. Flynn's bullet for Martin Leadham is led from start to finish. He jumps the next and Flynn's bullet has, has led them a merry canty. Yeah, he's gone clear by four half lens he's gonna win comfortably Flynn's bullet is starting to extend close home and the further they've gone the further ahead he's gone Flynn's bullet very impressive yeah start to finish for Martin Needham's gonna win comfortably Artisan Sundown's gonna win the battle for the minor places but really they could not touch this leader and Martin Needham wins the year of the hunt, national hunt chase with Flynn's bullet from Artisan Sundown in second wooden venture I think was back in third for Dave Hoody but an impressive performance for Martin Needham's Flynn's bullet start to finish, repelled all challenges, won comfortably. Davy Robertson in second with Artisan Sundown, Woodland Venture third for Dave Hooley, Gran Torino for Paul Rhodes back in fourth, and Ale 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 for Patrick Owen finished fifth. But an impressive performance for Flynn's bullet and Martin Needham.